sent her. I started the recording just to let everybody know. All right. Thank you. All right. I just sent Monique the link for this meeting. Um, she logged on to the executive session one. So I have enough for a quorum. So I'm going to begin the meeting. Sounds good. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to call the Douglas School Committee to order on December 20th. At 6.31 p.m., I would like to do a roll call vote of school committee members, please. Beth Bergstrom here. Teresa Brooks here. Meg Rod's in here. Heather Moore in here. Monique Salvis here. Thank you. We're going to proceed right into uh, our student representative. We have Christian Ballou, uh, Christopher Ballou and Zoe Musgrove. Did we start? You're ready to go. Okay. Hello, Douglas School Committee. My name is Chris Ballou, and I'm here with Zoe Musgrove, and we are here representing the student council at the middle school. A lot has happened in the past month, starting out with sports. This month, our winter sports program here at DMS is in full swing. Our cheerleading team is doing a great job cheering the boys and girls basketball teams on at the games. Both teams had their first home game last week. It was a fun event for all. The middle school students on the indoor track team are doing amazing at their meets as well. Three members have already qualified for nationals and some have already broken school records. In addition, we have put on our annual Winter Wonderland dance for students to enjoy this past Friday. Lots of fun was had and we raised lots of funds to go toward our field day at the end of the year. This week, we have been holding a holiday-themed Spirit Week. Some themes include Candy King Day, Ugly Sweater Day, Light Up Day, and Crazy Hat or Hair Day. We are also currently halfway through the second quarter. Progress reports came out last week, and many students have been improving since first quarter. There are many fun things happening in the eighth grade so far. In algebra, students are working on one and two step equations by using notes and bingo. Meanwhile, the honors algebra class is working on multi-step equations with variables on both sides while using notes and escape rooms to help reinforce the skills. They just had a test on this topic today. Across the hall in ELA, students are working on vocabulary words and are completing a visual representation of the diary of Anne Frank. Mr. Mazzaro's science class is learning about tectonic plates and weathering. They played a game of Jeopardy today to help study for the quiz tomorrow. Next, the eighth grade Spanish class is learning about the Panama Canal. Today, they played the unfair game to help with this topic. Lastly, in civics, students are watching the musical Hamilton to help with the Declaration of Independence and Constitutional Convention. Down the hall in seventh grade, students are learning about various things. In math, they're learning one-step equations. They are wrapping their minds around one-step equations and how to factor expressions by, by using task cards around the room. Over in ELA, students are reading The Outsiders and working on a setting map where the story takes place. A few classrooms down, they practice presentation skills in science, and they practice this by doing a penguin map. In Mr. Coyne's class, they're learning about ancient China philosophies in the Great Wall of China. In sixth grade news, in science, we are finishing up our lesson on, or chapter, on our galaxies and gravity. We are starting a two-day STEM science project. We have to present to Ms. Bronzo how gravity affects our solar system. For this project, we have an option to use a digital designing program called Tinkercad, draw our project design, or physically build it. In math class, Ms. Finlay is preparing us for our upcoming algebra and multiplying, adding, and subtracting decimals quiz. In history, we are turning our attention to Northern Africa and Southwest Asia with an upcoming test tomorrow. In ELA, we are learning how to properly write essays. 
Another writing strategy Ms. Martinson is teaching us is how to cite our sources. Finally, she is teaching us how to use graphic organizers to organize writing. We are going to be learning grammar and sentence structure. Ms. Martinson is preparing us for the future to write MCAS practice writing responses. We are looking forward to a creative activity where we think outside the box and elaborate on our writing pieces. Thank you for your time and have a good evening. Thank you. I think Thank what you. I found most impressive about that presentation was they said there are a lot of great and fun things happening at the at the middle school and then they launched into academics. So I'm happy to see that they think that's fun too. But thank you so much for coming out tonight. You guys did the middle school very proud. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to your family. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Nice job. Um, I, I apologize for interrupting, but could uh, Principal Sosha talk about the visit from the middle school kids to the primary school yesterday? Do you want us to stay for that? No, you, you can go. You got stuff okay. to do. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Okay. So the sixth graders came over to the primary school the other day, and we paired them up with kindergarten classes. So we had a few classes in the library and a few in the gym. And we had books available and they came right in. They picked up a book. They went to, you know, kids that were just spread out all over the place and they had a great time. It was like a half an hour of just fun. And of course, the sixth graders are used to doing this because they did it as fifth graders. So they, they should be pretty good at just kind of entertaining. And I could hear the sixth graders saying, they're so cute. So I think they enjoyed it. Um We'll have to plan something for the next time. Uh, we're not sure what's going to work yet, but uh, it was fun to just have a meet and greet this time. So I don't know what the sixth grader said, Mr. O'Brien, so. Very nice. I'm glad to hear it, that that's continuing because it, it was a, a successful program last year when we did it. So it'd be nice to see how this follows through and how it transitions between, because I think these are like, getting it back to normalcy. I think that's really what the key is here for them. So I appreciate, thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, the sixth graders loved it. And it was, um, I was really happy that the shy kids came out of their shells to work with the uh, kindergartners. It was, it was adorbs, Good. which is a word I've never used before in my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. All right, so now I'm going to go back to our regular scheduled programming, our consent agenda. Um, is there anybody here for public comment? Seeing that there is not, I'm going to move on. Is there any old business, Dr. Vera? There is not. Moving on to new, biz new business and your superintendent's report. Sure, so just keeping it brief, just want to wish everyone, um, community members, students, school committee, faculty, staff, everyone associated with the Douglas Public Schools, just a great holiday season and looking forward to a prosperous um, new year. Um, hard to believe, I think we're at day 76, 77. So we come back, we'll be halfway um, done with the school year. But just again, just wanna say a happy holidays to everyone out there. And thank you for what you do for our students and for our schools. Thanks so much. All right, now moving on to our consent agenda and reviewing the December 6, 2023 meeting minutes. Be looking for a motion if nobody has any issues. Did we skip accounts payable? Oh, sorry, school committee and oh, yeah. subcommittee payable report. Hang on, I'm pulling it up real quick. Do you want to do, can we do meeting minutes while I pull it up? Sure. Yeah. I'm making a motion to approve the December 6th school committee meeting minutes. Motion made by Monique, seconded by? I second. Second by Teresa. Roll call vote, please. All those in roll call vote. Beth Bergsham. 
Teresa Brooks, aye. Meg Rodson, aye. Monique Salvas, aye. Heather Moore, and aye. Thanks. Now going back to the school committee and subcommittee report for accounts payable. I'm not okay. Hold on. One, so one, one of them, I think I signed these. They did. Oh, good. So, awesome. I've, yep. Because I'm just looking at it right now. I think I signed these. So I'm just going to okay. take that that that's easier. That's uh, wonderful. One, warrant Thank 23 you. SCH 24. 23HC, ACHL24, and HS24-3, dated December 7th and December 8th, a batch of nine in the amount of $151,223.93-ish. It's the copies that didn't come out. There was nothing out of the ordinary with it, this warrant. And then the next warrant, doo, 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 doo. warrant number 24H, um, SH, uh, SCH, sorry, 24 and 24 SCHL 24, warrant dated December 14th and December 15th. Batch amount of six in the amount of. I see $48,083.36. Thank you, Monique. I wasn't. And, and there was nothing out of the ordinary with this one either as well. Sorry, I didn't know if you couldn't see it well on your screen. I was rolling, scrolling down. Sorry. <laughs> it's hard with technology, right? It is. <laughs> All right. So now back to the consent agenda. Where is it revised? Sorry, I'm flipping on my iPad. Uh, the consent agenda, um, we're to the FY 2025 for the school year 2024 to 2025 school year for preschool tuition rate approval. Okay, um, good evening, everyone. Um, we're bringing forward to you um, early enough so before uh, Mrs. Sosha has to send out notifications. Um, so we're doing it earlier this year um, for the 2024-2025 um, preschool tuition fees. Um, we have not done a rate increase um, since FY 2022. Um, and you know, at that time it had been a little bit, a little bit before that, but again, with COVID and everything coming out of COVID and all of that with I know the school committee understands all the things going on in the school department. So, um, you know, we think very carefully when we do this, but we did review. Um, Mrs. Sosha did get rates from area schools. Um, we had a meeting. We did take a look at them and discuss them. So we thought at this, po at this point in time um, that we would request a 5% rate increase to each rate category for the upcoming uh, school year. And the um, financial impact of that um, based on current school year enrollment could be approximately $9,700. And then again, um, school uh, preschool is funded by a general fund, the revolving fund, and also a small amount from a grant as well. I don't know if anyone, if uh, Mrs. Sosha, would you like to add anything um, regarding the preschool program or? Um... Well, just that, believe it or not, we're already planning our informational night for parents at the end of January. So that's why we're looking at the rates now, because we'll be sending out packets already um, and things happen fast. So we have to do the registration process and make sure that we're on, on target here for registrations. Um, I mean, things are going really well in preschool, and it has really shown as students go into kindergarten, it's such, you know, a positive effect on the kids and the, the teachers notice it as they go through. If they're in our preschool and then they go to our kindergarten, you can you can pick them out already. 
because they already know the routines, they know the building, they're so much more comfortable. Um, socially, they're so much better for us. So it, it's really an advantage to us to have the program. And, and our numbers, we're maxed out. We still have a waiting list, not a big one, but as things move around, you know, we're able to get some kids in, but we've had a lot of move-ins. We've had some early intervention in our three-year-old program. So we have to leave the spots open for them. So things things are going well. Yeah, I don't think that the the rates don't look out of line with what's going on in, in the Valley itself. So um, I have no issues with this. Does any other school committee member have any issues? If not, I'd be looking for a motion. Courtney, if you could help me out with language, yeah, I will still move. I was it. just, I was just going <laughs> to offer. Okay, I'd be happy to um, move to approve the following preschool tuition fees for the 2024-2025 school year, which includes a five percent increase to each tuition rate category: five days full, six thousand nine hundred thirty dollars; three days full, four thousand one hundred fifty-eight dollars; two days full. $2,772, five days half, $3,465, three days half, $2,541, and two days half, $1,848. So moved by Teresa. <laughs> Motion Second. made by Teresa, seconded by, was it Meg or, or Monique? Meg. Second by Meg. Roll call vote, please. Beth Bergstrom, aye. Teresa Brooks, aye. Meg Rodson, aye. Monique Salvas, aye. Heather Moore, and I. Thank you so much. Congratulations, and Ms. Sosha. Thank you. Other Thank success? you. All right. Moving now on to the School Business and Operations Manager Report. Um, I do not have any um, transfers or reclasses this evening. But I do want to um, just kind of give a nice little shout out to to um, some people that helped us out a great deal on Monday with the storm. Um, I want to say that Telstone, the bus drivers and the bus manager did a fantastic job. Um, and also, of course, the folks on the town side uh, with the highway department, John Fernal Fire, um, wonderful job. And, uh, you know, we just, we always appreciate, you know, their working so great with us and um, it went very well as well as it could be under the circumstances. So we really appreciate it. Yes, I mean, with the amount of power outages, trees down, the fact that we still were able to successfully have school, continue school and then have school the following day, huge yeah. kudos downside as well as to Telstone. So very much yeah. appreciate. In fact, there was one uh, one bus driver where there was a big tree down the road and the bus went to go down and they had to move the big tree and then the bus moved a little bit further down. They had to move another big tree. So, you know, it, it really, I tell you, they're, they're, they're really great. Telstone uh, and, and the bus drivers. I, I you know, I, you feel bad because I'm not, I'm not the one driving the bus. I do feel bad, you know, in a situation like that. So, um, and, uh, and certainly all the understanding from the parents as well. And, you know, the administrator is helping out, you know, making phone calls and everything. I mean, it's just great to see people pulling together in a situation like that. And it, it just went off without a hitch. So I just wanted to say that. Yeah. Well, please relay our, our thank yous too as well. So I much will. Thank you. Any other topics not anticipated? Not tonight. So we are going to use executive session this evening. Uh, the executive session is used to discuss the strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation in an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation position of the government body. And to, to conduct collective bargaining to review contract language and propose revision strategies for successful completion. We will adjourn from that meeting, not come back into open session. So I need to have a roll call vote for us to adjourn to executive session. Beth Bergstrom, aye. Teresa Brooks, aye. Meg Robson, aye. Heather Moore, and aye. So we're going to adjourn to go into uh, executive session. And again, we won't be coming back into open session. Everybody